Probiotics, they're great for your gut, but what else are they good for? Hey guys, Tara here for DNews, and it seems like probiotics are all the health rage lately. If you're not familiar, probiotics are microorganisms like bacteria and yeast that replenish all of the good flora in your gut and help aid your body with digestion. Every day we discover new benefits of probiotics, so if you're not yet convinced of all the wonderful things they can do for your health, then here are a couple more. A new study in PLOS One finds that eating probiotics for just a month can help diminish the accumulation of fat in your liver. Now, before you get too excited, this study was done on rats, so it's not totally clear how this translates to humans, but in any case, it's a good step towards the fight against non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD is a buildup of fat in the liver that's not caused by alcohol, and it's closely related to obesity and diabetes. It's a fairly common disease that most people don't even know they have, but in the most extreme cases, it can lead to scarring of the liver and liver failure. For this study, researchers administered three different strains of probiotics to obese rats for 30 days straight and found that it significantly reduced the amount of fat buildup in the liver compared to rats that were fed a placebo. Researchers say this doesn't mean that probiotics can cure a liver disease, but it does demonstrate their anti-inflammatory properties. And it supports the idea that our intestinal bacteria can directly influence our liver metabolism. This goes hand in hand with another study published this week in Hypertension, which finds that regular probiotic intake can actually improve your blood pressure. Researchers analyzed nine different studies and found that consuming at least a billion CFUs of probiotics daily, which is about how much you'd find in a supplement capsule, lowered systolic blood pressure in patients by around three and a half points, and diastolic blood pressure by about two and a half points. Not a massive difference, but the effect is more pronounced in people with elevated blood pressure levels of at least 130 over 85. It's also worth noting that probiotics with multiple strains of bacteria are more effective than those with just a single strain. But no matter what kind you take, they do have to be consumed for at least eight weeks straight in order to see the positive effect. Researchers believe that while probiotics don't directly influence someone's blood pressure, they do have other positive effects on the body that can lead to lower blood pressure. They improve your cholesterol, they reduce blood glucose levels, and they help regulate the hormone system responsible for regulating blood pressure. So go ahead, eat all the yogurt you want. And if you hate yogurt, let us know your preferred method of getting your daily probiotics. Just leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.